Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amiza and today I am going to be doing a review for this notebook from Notebook Therapy which is the Suki Moonflower Limited Edition Bullet Journal. Now as you guys can see from this video, this is the box that comes with this journal. Very simple design yet elegant and dreamy at the same time. I feel like it fits as a perfect gift for your loved ones or even for yourself. This journal also comes with some free sticker and a very cute paper clip. I honestly felt in love the moment I saw this cover. I love the gold details. I feel like this journal really suits my bullet journal style. Here's the feature of this notebook. We will go through each feature in a moment. But if you guys want to see the details, you guys can go to their website. I will put the link to their website in my description down below. This notebook comes with three different sizes which are the original which is slightly smaller compared to the standard A5 size, A5 size which is the one I am showing to you guys today and also B5. This notebook comes with a very beautiful metallic golden edges with floral details that makes this notebook look luxurious. I also have the winter version which is this white cover which I will be using for my next year bullet journal and in case you guys are curious the features between these two are the same the only difference they have is the cover and the ribbon colors the black cover has dark pink bookmark ribbons while the white cover comes with light pink bookmark ribbons Since it has 160 GSM papers, the papers feel so thick which I am not familiar with because I've been using 100 GSM notebooks from the very beginning. The pages open flat which I really appreciate, especially to take pictures of my spreads for my Instagram account. It also comes with two bookmarks and a pocket at the back. The dots are not too visible, perfect for those who don't like too visible dots but the only downside of this notebook is the pages are not numbered. I also compared this notebook with my current bullet journal which is the scribbles that matter so that you guys can see the color of the paper and as you guys can see from the video the paper from this notebook therapy Suki Moonflower journal is more bright or white compared to the STM and also limo notebooks Since it has 160 GSM paper, I honestly doubt that it will give me any ghosting or bleeding when using the standard fine liners but I just wanted to make sure. So in this pen test, I am using my everyday go-to fine liners which are the Artline drawing system in the size of 0.2 and 0.4 and also the Stettler pigment liner in the size of 1.0. I also used a lot of brush pens in this pen test. As you guys can see, I am using my Tombow Fudenowski Hard and Soft Tips brush pens, Zebra Mild Liner, Crayola Super Tips, Stabilo Highlighter, Zebra Mild Liner brush pen, 
Pentel Foot Touch Pen, STA Metallic Brush Pen, Artline Sticks Brush Marker, Ecoline Brush Marker, Sharpie Marker, and also some acrylic paint. If you guys can see from this video, I did run the pens a few times to see if it will give me any bleeding or ghosting because as you know, when we create or decorate our spreads, we tend to like use these pens to color in our drawings or decorations in the journal. So I think it's very important to run the pens a few times to see if the paper is thick enough for that purpose. One thing I really like about the paper is it feels smooth. I don't have any problems whatsoever with the paper. It does not absorb the ink, which is very cool as it makes the colors really stand out. As you guys can see from this pen test, the only see-through we have here is from the Sharpie marker but I don't find it a really big issue since I don't usually use Sharpie in my journal but if you are one of those who usually use Sharpie in your journal then this journal is not for you. The result for the acrylic paint is also good. I did apply a lot of water during the pen test but I don't see the paper wrinkles which is nice because if you've seen my previous setups I did use acrylic paints in my journal and I am planning to use them again in the future so it is good to see that the paper can handle the amount of water and acrylic paint I applied earlier. One tip I have for you guys, if you are looking for journals, for your bullet journal, try to do some research about how the paper fare when using the supplies that you usually use. All in all, I really like this notebook which explains why I will be using this um, notebook for my next year bullet journal. So if you ask me, do I recommend this one to you guys? I would say yes, I do. Do I feel like it's worth it? Most definitely. Alright guys, I think that's all for this time. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you have any questions about this notebook, you can leave them down below in the comments section. I will try my best to answer your questions. Before I end this video, I would really appreciate it if you guys can help me grow my channel by liking this video and subscribing. I will talk to you guys again hopefully in my next video. Until then, bye bye.